Hi everyone and welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight. I'm Lizzie. I'm Derek. And tonight is a very special treat. We are playing Unsettled, Unsettled from Orange Nebula. Yes. You get to watch us die in space and oh what a glorious death it is going to be. <laughs> You're very excited about dying. <laughs> I mean, listen, this is a really difficult game. It's it It's tough and uh, we're going to do the best we can with what we have. Lizzie is going to do the best she can with, <laughs> with so, me. If you're not familiar with Unsettled, it is a cooperative game. Um, this is a space theme. We are a bunch of astronauts. We have. I mean, our, we're just going on weird space adventures. We're, we're a little lost in space. Um, <laughs> so there are a bunch of different planets that you can explore. Each planet is incredibly unique and has different things that you're going to face up against. Tonight, yep. we are um, traveling to Stranos. So this and I like is, how it gets it right out, right out of the way. Molten death, yep. like it just straight right in your face. Mm -hmm. Molten death. You're probably gonna die, but that's okay. So they are on Kickstarter right now. They have a bunch of new planets tonight, or new planets. Yep. Uh, this is from the original Kickstarter, so it is available on the new Kickstarter, but it's not one of the new planets. This is one from the Correct. original campaign. There's so many different planets. Like yeah, there's there so much content, and the cool thing about mm -hmm. each planet, again, it's standalone. So mm -hmm. you can play a planet. You don't have a recurring campaign. And each planet has three different scenarios. Mm -hmm. So we are doing task A. Mm -hmm. So there are three tasks for each. Uh, Stranos, these are asteroids. So thematically, if you think about this, we are going to jump or move from asteroid. We're going asteroid jumping tonight. Like mm -hmm. that's what's going on. Uh, I'm sorry, try. I'm just catching up with the comments here. We, we What's going on? Hey, Michael. Uh, we're doing well. I hope you're doing all right. Justin Gibbons. Just finished a game playing this. I love it. Winora. They played Winora Task one. B. Winora is fun. And then Bob, Lizzie, I'm sorry, your cooperative allies, Derek. Listen, it, it happens, okay? Listen, I chose him. I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> it is That's it true. Is. That's like, fair. Why don't you read is. us, uh, read Stranos? Like, tell us what's okay. happening here. Um, Stranos has no central body or core. It is a swirling amassment of volcanic asteroids, metals, and floating lava all held together in loose formation by a low gravity magnetosphere. Really behaving magnet magnetism is rampant. The synthetic metal fibers of our suit seem to attract every piece of loose metal we pass. We must be careful not to cause excess debris or we may find ourselves crushed under the weight, which may be hard as the metallic asteroids attract and repel one another in a perpetual motion of spinning, colliding, shattering hulks hunks of metallic ore. Flowing through all of this are floating rivers of lava that splash beautifully across a steroidal surfaces, reshaping them with heat, steam, and fire. Meanwhile, the nearby sun is collapsing, buffeting the world with a steady solar tempest, predictable in timing, but not in temperament. This is a world of chaos, of movement, and of peril so profound it achieves a type of beauty. Simply navigating this awe-inspiring place will be harrowing. Nice. So that's just a little backstory on One the One of the things I love to do is like, like we were talking, like who wrote this, right? Like we're like, so there's some there's some wacky stuff happening in this game. And if you play like, I think it was Menora where there's like some, there's some low key like. It was not low key. <laughs> in it your was face, not. J Justin would know. The writing has some innuendo sometimes that is hilarious. And I'm just thinking Tom wrote that. Like that was Tom, 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 Tom. Uh, maybe Mark, Tom. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Colton Beads? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're happy to have you with us. Said they found our channel, love what we do, and finally get a chance to watch live. Well, if you got any questions, throw them at us. We are here live. We're here to hang out with you. We're going to have a good time doing it. Like I said, I've said this before. I've told Lizzie, there's no better way to die in space than playing Unsettled. <laughs> have you? Is yeah. that, thing you that was my that, that's what I gave the quote to Tom uh, for their Kickstarter. There's no better way to die, die in space is unsettled. Yeah. So is that how you want to go? Should I remember that? Should yeah, I you shoot, shoot you off in the, space? Shoot me out in space. All right. So uh, this is task A and I'm going to go ahead and read this for you, but I'll throw it up on the screen. That way you might be able to read. I know the the. He's, so, you know, little, little um, before we like jump into it, this is text heavy. There is a narrative here. This is not really spoiler because again, it's not a campaign. They're all standalone. If you play this game, right? This is all like these are all randomly set out, so your board will be completely different. Your yes, experience this will is be all different. Random. Yeah. Um. So we are not spoiling anything. The only thing we're spoiling would be the, the task, the narrative to the task. But this mm -hmm. is literally when you open Stranos, task A is the first task. So. 
you know, I don't think we're really. And I mean, we've played it, this it before, and you know, we still have no idea what to expect going into it. Well, yeah, because you know? these are going to be different. Like, I have no idea what these are going to look like because you'll see it all. Anyways, yeah. again with the wormholes. Look, wormholes started it. One minute we weren't stranded. We one minute we weren't stranded in unfathomable distance from home in the bizarre beyond. The next we were. Wormholes did that, so we figure wormholes owe us one. They got us into this mess. It seems only fair they get us out of it. The nearest star system is too far for us to reach in our lifetime, or in several for that matter, and we're nearly out of food, fuel, and also pretty much a, pretty much everything else. Plus, some of us are getting insufferably grumpy. However, scans have revealed that the metallic cores of the asteroids making up the loose planetary body we're orbiting will, if vaporized in high enough volume, create a temporary wormhole that may be the doorway to our survival. We have no idea where it will take us or how violently it will do so, but at the very least, we'll have a chance. In other words, we need to launch one of these massive asteroids into the nearby sun and then fly into the resulting explosion, presumably while screaming. Stranger things have worked before. Probably. So, you know. Derek's the grumpy one. Am I the grub? <laughs> I'll take that. I'm the grub. So then we flip this over and you'll notice, yes, we've already set up the, the play. So it tells us how to do this. It tells you where to place the scarab. It tells you how to do the setup. Spoiler alert. Those gray cards are Oops. actually cards. Yes. So we if you did. play Stranos, we did make a mistake about this where these grayed out areas are not empty spaces, but are in fact cards. Because, so now you know. Um, when you read this, it gives you all the information on set up how each planet is different. And it does talk about, I'll well, I think it was both of us. It does talk about how there are sometimes spaces and that they're, you know, strategically there and you need to leave the spaces. So when we saw that, I was like, oh, those are the spaces that I just read about. They are not. Um, don't make the same mistake we did. We fixed it for this. It's going to go a lot better. <laughs> It'll go better. So there you go. We're launching the asteroid in the sun. We have conceived a device that will utilize the magnetic energies of this world to propel an asteroid in the direction we engineered. We must select an asteroid carefully, though. Launch one too close to the scarab, and it will scramble the ship's systems, but get too close to the nearby cladicism, and we could trigger an insta-death energy event. We may have to reposition some asteroids to make things work. So... We need to launch an asteroid from these six positions. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next thing we have going on is numero three. Construct the polarity funnel by taking the below action on a build site of one of the nodes highlighted on the previous card. Again, the previous card being the highlighted, these six right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, you may have to move asteroids around to build the site into position. So, and what you're looking here, what you need to know is our scientists will need to complete insight to gain a breakthrough or scientific understanding mm -hmm. in the specific color, which I know you can't see it because it's hiding behind this card, but we need to have red and blue. Mm -hmm. We need to, we need to science the crap out of it, essentially, like, you know, for lack of better terms, the Martian. Um, and then we need to spend these resources. So we will gain those resources throughout the game. There's a little bit of a catch though, because we cannot actually mine for these minerals or these materials on this planet. Instead, they're gonna stick to our bodies as we're flying around on these asteroids. And it cause all kinds of problems. And they're gonna right? cause all sorts of problems. It's, it's gonna be a wild, wacky time, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then basically what'll happen is once we have completed that, it will tell us to move on to the next, uh, the next step, the next, phase. the next phase of things. So I'm trying to survive. Oh, uh, Lizzie, are okay. you going to go first? Um, I think I may. Okay. If you're okay with that. Okay. Yes. Right, so we have, they have handy dandy little sheets. Yes, that they do have nice handy sheets. Our main actions. They have the extra action, free actions you can take. We have, I can't see. I'm oh, cool. Look, it. it's, uh, that's yeah, cool. It's I hadn't used this before. We're not sponsored by Gatorade, but. They can't tell what it is. It's all black. It's a bottle. Anyway, um, so we each on our turn have three dice. So um, right now they're at two pips. As I take actions, they will go down. I can recharge them. Yeah. Up to so three. That's a um, yeah. So this is the main mechanic for your movement, your actions that you're gonna take. Um, and this then energy are... action is kind of like the crux of the whole game mm -hmm. because if these go all the way to the bottom, it spends time. Yeah. And if you run out of time. Mm -hmm. Like, each time this track cycles through, we lose a life. 
So everybody our, moves down. This is our endurance. If we make it down here, we lose. So we only have so much time and mm -hmm. using the dice and trying to figure out that puzzle. And mm -hmm. this is at its core. I know that this, this game seems extremely thematic because it is, mm -hmm. but this is a Euro through and through. Mm -hmm. Like this is a Euro thematic space game because you're managing the dice. You're just ticking them down, trying to figure out how to best utilize all these actions, gather materials, spin materials to buy things, do all sorts of re really cool, weird stuff, like mm -hmm. eat mushrooms and growing tentacles. Not in this one. <laughs> but it's super, super cool. Uh, just trying to catch up with the comments real quick. They're telling me to go down with the ship or maybe I can take uh, an escape pod and leave you behind. Wow, okay. So they're already, they are, my good friends, Bob and Isaac, are already planning my demise. I like it. Okay. Oh, let me show you. This is, uh, oh, so this is Luna. Derek has painted all of the minis. I painted Luna. She's um, normally just, she's I mean, normally, a great ball. Like this. Very she cute. normally looks like that. But Luna has been through some stuff. She looks like what? What does she look like? What did you point to? Right here. This is Luna. Like, she's oh. just like a silver ball. But Luna's been through, been through some tough times. Mm -hmm. And she's got googly eyes, because I think it's hilarious. Because Derek gets lonely and needs someone to talk to, and I'm not always there. It's true. And then here's, like, one of Lizzie's miniatures I painted. Turned out pretty good. I like it. That's me. And, and then I am blue. doing this guy or this. Actually, I'm playing as a uh, as this character. We're both women. Yeah. So actually, our chances have just gone up. It's true. Our chances have increased significantly. <laughs> All right. Do you would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. So I think I will move Luna first. Okay. Yeah. Go for I it. I think I'll move her here. You want me to do that? Okay. So in this game, it's very important that the cards stay oriented at the way they are. Yep. Because um, the cards will have powers that will rotate them 90, 180 degrees, move them across. So be they very need to careful stay in the exact location. when you're flipping them that they stay the same orientation. Yep. Okay. So we have um, magnetic fulcrum. Uh, this, uh, so you would put the die here. It's an extra die placement. Pip down one. Um Angled magnetism, you can rotate any node up to 180 degrees either direction or place another explorer oh, onto this node from up, up to three spaces, spaces away. away. Um, nice. Also, they all have the negative or positive. This one is positive. This is a positive node. Um, so, that's not bad. That's, that's and it's going to cost you a time to move into that. So each of these will have, and I don't know if you how well you can see this, but you'll see there are, so this is impassable, and this means it costs you time. This would gain you an insight. This is impassable. So if Lizzie wanted to move her explorer into that node, it's gonna cost it would cost her time, which we just moved the time marker up. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to move just forward. I'm going to go to this environment. <laughs> I think, thank you. Okay, I, do so like, I do like my Luna. Lava Expressway. Go with the flow. So it does not cost anything to place your die there, but you are going to lose using that die somewhere yeah. else. Uh, so this space is an adjacent swap places. Okay. Adjacent so this space and adjacent space. So this space. one, this one, this one. I don't really think no, you can swap, you swap with the ship, spirit, but no. like, so you know, you could slowly move your way and across you the board. And gain an insight for going past that. Do I? Yeah, you gain that insight. Okay, so gain insight. So now I have my dice to place. So you can use the dice to move again. You get one free movement with your turn. Um, or you can, I am going to pursue an opportunity with okay. my green. So opportunities are really cool. Extra. Um, we so, are, well, you should probably just split that in half and half the deck. Okay, it's fine. But there you go. So they just reveal an opportunity. The orb. Ooh. Um, you snap out of a strange reverie. How long have you been standing here? The ground is perfectly smooth and you're, abs and you're surrounded by absolute silence at your feet. A spear. If you feel comfortable with it as if you've known your whole life, maybe you have. How funny. You should find it here. I immediately go up on. What's that? Oh, we gain, that's group trust. Yeah, group trust. So we split these resources. So these up arrows mean that we get to add pips to our dice. So Lizzie, we'll split it. You get one and I get one. Mm -hmm. You cool with that? Yes. Cool. So I get a pip and you get a pip. Okay, I will give it to this one. Since I went down. <laughs> hey, uh, okay. We're gonna do our best not to die. I, I, I can't promise that we that we will survive, but we will definitely try our best. So I'll put that here. Um, so I can spend an action to go pick up the mysterious spear. Yeah, so you can put the orb on that card. Can you reach it? Oh man, I put that kind of far away, didn't I? Success. <laughs> I hope we don't need another one. <laughs> what did I flip it? Yeah, you flipped oh. one out. It's fine. I could reach it. 
And then, uh, so... So I really need to be the one to pick this up. If Derek were to go get it, um, we would lose trust. Right. So... And then these are really cool markers that tell you which of the uh, well, you have opportunities to be, where you to have to be to, to yes. do that opportunity. Okay, so I still have two actions. Yes. So I'm going to use my blue to rest because that's going to give me a um, insight. So that means I go up. Uh, I see um, Libertalia Winds of Gale Crest. Rest is going to move one. What's going to move? Tru the rest. Oh, rest. Exhaust. So on your turn, you do Libertalia, always have you better to give us a subscribe and a plus one. Give us some thumbs. Yes, you do have to rest every turn. And that's what keeps the game moving. And that's part of the time element. Um, and then we will get to it when we... Yeah, I was going to talk about that until it happens. Yeah. But There's fun stuff with the rest of Right the now, the goal is to find a location to place the polarity uh, fossil. Okay. So, or the polarity um, funnel. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the orb just because... I mean, you're already there. You might I as well. Know. So, so you get a pick... random anomaly card. So this says... Here, can I show it? I want to show it off. Is it going to fit? Oh, there we go. Vaporize and waft strategically discard, and I can remove all the material from any node for each pip. Yeah, which is nice. Okay, so that's going to just come live by me. I'm, I'm not going to have any room for that stuff. It's all going to just sit down here that's for fine. me. That's <laughs> fine. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see it. All right, so that is Those are all my, your actions, right? Um, let me see. I moved. I set my focus. I moved Luna. Um... I suppose I could have her scan for blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh. You finished the, uh, the mark on the one. indicate you've done the opportunity. Yep, you've done that. I'm going to scan. You're going to do what? You're going to... Oh. I'm going to scan here. Oh, the markers. Where... Oh, what happened to all of these? What are you talking about? I think we're supposed to put the marker on the node to indicate you've done the opportunity. Which I think is what you just did. So the opportunity, that opportunity can just go well, away. Yeah, I mean, I'll... When yeah, I take yeah, yeah. my die off, I'll just... You could just get rid of it. One. Okay, so one of these thingies. There we go. Luna has scanned for some data. Mm -hmm. Now we can only pick up data if we are located with um, Luna in her node, mm -hmm. uh, or in their node, in its node, the robot, in Luna's node. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, that is the end of my turn. All right. Um, I'm gonna send Luna over here, mm -hmm. so we can kind of keep. Exploring, exploring out because Luna can go past these uh, impassable terrain icons. Mm -hmm. So we're good there. Uh, okay, so we have a proxying passage. Run up the passage wall. This space and an adjacent space swap places and then this node rotates 180 degrees. So you're gonna notice a theme here where we're gonna be rotating the, this is a really intricate puzzle because these nodes are gonna move, which is allowing us to bypass these impassable terrain symbols, uh, which my brain's gonna be a little tired later. It's, it's interesting. Be exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Luna, you did a good job there. Uh, I can move down here. I can rotate any node or place another explorer onto this node. Mm. So rotate. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'll traverse, you get one base movement. Uh, then I will activate this to rotate this node 180 degrees. Oh that's wait, no, 90. that's not gonna work. That's, that's just 90. flipping it upside down. Yeah, they're just gonna flip it upside down, which is still gonna put these impassables. Mm -hmm. um, dang it. So maybe I won't use my base movement there. Yeah, because I'm trying to get it so that those fit. This space and adjacent space. Well, I think I'll come in with you then. We'll okay. We'll work together here. And I will, that's, belt, that's both in pot and passable, so I can't do that. Let's you could go up. scan with Luna. Uh, three. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I will theorize. Oh, yeah. Um, so you're going to gain an insight, and I'm going to gain an insight. So you also gain an insight. Oh, you're almost at the top of your, your science track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I will, I will also investigate. And so I will gain an insight. So when you use the matching die. It's a little hard to see. This is blue, green, red. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't do, oh, that's right. Yeah, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't pursue one there. Dang it. Um, I did forget about that. 
Um, Did thank you, you for the reminder. I was going to try to investigate there, but you can't do another oh, yeah. opportunity there. I did forget about that, so thank you. Uh, however, when you're matching dice to the mm -hmm. actions on their boards, you're going to be able to gain benefits when you match the dice. Now, it's not always possible, mm -hmm. but when you can, you definitely should. I should have also mentioned when we started the game that each of us starts with a, uh, a personality trait. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am an altruist when our group trust is uh, working together, but it changes a little bit when we are distrustful mm -hmm. and this game really is a it, it, it's a deep dive into like personality and how groups work together and like group trust and how that affects like how when i mistrust or when i when i when the group's trust changes how my personality changes mm -hmm. and how your personality changes based on on how that that goes uh so i'm going to Hmm. I think I will use Luna's ability to rotate Luna's node up to 90 degrees in either direction. So we can move, I can rotate it this way. It says up to 180 degrees. So you can't do So that. I can do that. Um, which that helps a little bit if we can somehow rotate this one. Uh, well, she can move on to but it. But then, yeah. It. Well, I was going to say, she can move on to it and rotate it, or uh, we could also swap places with this, and yeah, we'll figure it out. But then I have to rest. So I do have to rest. We have to move the time marker up, which means when you hit the triangle of death, we get to reveal oh, a Solar Tempest card. Not going to be good. This is going to be interesting. So this is one of the struggles that we're going to deal with here. Solar Tempest. Magnetic oh. winds pulse. From the collapsing star. What's going on? I think you're only allowed to have two. Oh, is it two per? I thought it was no, two for material. materials. Material. You're right. You're right. It's data can have more. Yeah. But materials, materials have to have two. Yeah. Uh, it means you gain one pip up as a bonus, not for each pip. Oh, I think... I'm not sure what Justin was re replying to there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what he was talking about there. Uh, Justin, you're going to have to clarify what you're talking about i'm not sure what that comment was because you guys are a little bit behind us mm -hmm. uh all right so add a material so these are the materials get added to each positive node so we get one here and here and we're on a negative node so we're not going to gain any now when we move on to these nodes with the materials they're going to stick to us mm -hmm. and they're going to do really nasty things to us and we're going to try to get rid of them we can spend them as a resource while they're attached to mm -hmm. us though However, each positive node rotates 90 degrees clockwise for each positive node adjacent to it. So this one has so one, so clockwise. Clockwise 90 degrees, both of them, because then this, this one also one has, has one, one adjacent, to it. and it's going to move. So it's going to go like that. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so glad that Thanks you moved so him, much. So I'm that we're so, now blocked again. I'm that was so brilliant. happy I did that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, it's your turn. Okay. Should I go up or should I go over? Hmm. I'm gonna go up. You're gonna go up? Okay. You got it? Can you flip it? Barely it's gonna reaching. match. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. It doesn't have impassable and it, it costs us a time. time. Oh, boy. Um, Perfect. Metallic Forest uh, Acquire Discovery Metallic Flower. Yep. So you put Metallic Flower on there. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the metallic flower is going to do. It looks sketchy. It looks kind of scary. Um, listen, I'm all about... And that was just your base movement, right? So you didn't, actually, yeah. you didn't traverse or anything. Yeah, I didn't traverse. Um, you also do have Luna. To move, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> You're going to pick it up? I like this. I like all the scientific pick up all the stuff. Okay. This is another vaporizing waft, so I can discard it too. Okay. Yeah, a few of those anomalies are like that. I shuffled that tech too. I, I think you might have as well. I think a lot of that. I think there's only a handful of um, yeah. anomalies that you'll get. Um, oh boy. See, I need to. Who are you in the same place? 
Yeah. Insight? I'm close to breaking through. I mean, you if you can, you should definitely get a breakthrough. I'm just saying, if I theorize, I can go through and then another explorer can gain one insight as well. Yeah, if you match up, that so, works. I mean, I might as well do You'll get, that. I'll get to the top. So, so I went through, um, so I need the blue. Okay, so you made a blue science breakthrough. So you also get the top breakthrough card. Okay, you're doing red, so I'm yeah, gonna I'm go doing ahead red. and green. So robotics breakthrough. You use scorchy lava boosters. Um, so <laughs> for uh, one scorchy lava boosters. That's what it says. Is that like is, is that like naming something like McBoat like? Bodie McBoaterson. Bodie McBoatface. Bodie McBoatface. It feels like that. <laughs> um, so as we collect data, we don't have any collector right now, but um, once we have one, I can spend one data and I can place Luna on any revealed or unrevealed node. And if an explorer is on that node, you're going to gain two power, which oh, nice. are these orange. So, yeah. you can and power will come off. into play. We do need two power in order to build the uh polarity funnel and so. i can do this once per turn once i collect yeah. some data and it costs the data yeah anything. so as long yeah. as you have a data you can do it once per turn um yeah so that's a fun scorchy lava boosters uh, is this oh so that's impassable unfortunately yeah but this space and adjacent space you i know i'm trying to figure out a way to get it to move so that says this space an adjacent space, then it turns 180. You yeah. have to. I know. I'm trying to figure it out. Backwards. I know. Yeah, because you'd have to enter it from this direction. Yeah. But I want to get that data. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? No, I still oh, okay. have to. We have to rest, rest right? Which is going to move that up. Um, I have not moved Luna. Yeah. So. I would. Do something new or should No, I keep should exploring. Join Just have her explore the tiles. That's something new. Oh, yeah, that's something that's... new. I like it. What did you think I meant? I thought you meant like, come over. I don't know. What you, yeah. Yeah, something new by going back where she's been. Yes. She's going sightseeing. Okay. Biosphere. When entering. Okay, so it's not yeah, going to trigger because it's trigger. Luna. But if Derek or I were to go there, we would get a data. You would add a data to that. And then, hey, look, we found a location Ooh. that we can build our polarity funnel and on. And it's in the right area. So. It is. I mean, I probably jinxed us by saying that because it's probably going to like. So. We can only enter, so we can enter through these. This is not, that is impassable. That's impassable. Hold on though, but, but she can, Luna can rotate stream. up to 180 degrees. Oh my goodness, okay. So we can. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I mean. Well, it's my turn, right? I, let me make sure, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm good. So okay. I will send Luna up. Yeah, Luna. You didn't want to search data for her, did you? I don't think so. It's fine. I'm no, gonna send her up gonna here. Calculated hurdle. Place yourself onto a node revealed or unrevealed one to two spaces away. Rotate that node 90 degrees in either direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Justin was talking about your anomaly card. So, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's a just, pit for all that I remove. I get a pit. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. Um, a plug. Yeah. That Thanks, makes more Justin. sense. Thanks, buddy. So, that calculated hurdle is pretty cool. But I need to figure out. All right, I'm going to activate my space mm -hmm. and I'm going to swap. Okay, so that doesn't cost me any act. So we're going to swap the location of these two. And then hopefully Luna can move in here and rotate this 90 degrees which would line those up, and then we need to rotate this one. So we're like a couple turns away, but we need to do a couple rotations. Well, no big deal, guys. It's fine. Everything is fine. We don't have any power, any <laughs> data, Everything or any fine. material yet. All right, she's going to scan. I mean, literally the one. only thing we have is my blue badge. You still need we got to get a, a bad, we red can badge. Go, we can go here. I'll go get some power. Actually, yeah, I'll go get a power. You need to gain insight so that you can have the yeah, red badge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, let's do that plan then. I'm the only one working so, towards this. I will get my red. I made my red breakthrough. You Can you hand me the top red breakthrough card? The engineering breakthrough. I think it's actually yeah. orange. Engin oh, is it orange? I'm sorry. Transmit geomanipulative pulse. 
-hmm. Remove a material from any node. Then if Luna is on that node, place her on a node one to two spaces away. Nice. So I can use a power to activate that. So I can remove, and then if Luna's on that node, place her one. So that's cool. I can, that's neat. I like that. We can move Luna around quicker. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have to rest. So this is going to go up. This is going to go here. And it is now your turn. I don't know. Justin said that you were work. You were right. <laughs> Tiny screen watching on a phone. It's all good. Well, thank you for joining us using a phone. That's dedication. That is dedication. We love you, Justin. We love everybody who's watching us. Okay. Well, on my turn, we're going to lose one endurance. Uh, That's just... I mean, when, whenever you gain time. Whenever, yeah. I mean, it's it's just a fact. Don't do that just... to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do... What? Don't make me lose a life. I just want everybody to know, life watching at home, endurance. we're losing endurance because of Lizzie's turn, not mine. But you've, <laughs> uh, you've added to I it already. I mean, it. this is not just me. It's all good. A little rude over there. It's all good. Um... We really kind of need to hit another another uh, solar tempest, though, so we can start picking up these materials. I mean, like, you want to pick them up, but you kind of don't. I mean, you need them, but they're not great. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead, base movement, move here. Hold on, you can't. It's impassable. Um, and you can't move down here, so you have Luna. to move Luna. That's uh, impassable, too. You're... So I'm going to move Luna up. <laughs> You're going to have to make her... And I'm going to use the green yep. magnetic screen, and I will... She gets you no know, ninety degrees though. What? Yeah, it's ninety degrees. I'm gonna go like that, and then I will move over, and it's going to give me insight. But oh, also go down endurance. now we lose endurance. Okay, when entering, you may remove one material from yourself. From I no. don't. Have well, that's good to any. know that we can do that there. That is cool. Um, so that was my base movement. I've already spent green. Oh, Luna, what are we gonna do with you, girl? I. I'm going to investigate because I'm just very curious. I'm trying to figure out. Oh my God, I wish I knew what was there. Okay, so this says persistent tar beast. <laughs> what? Persistent tar okay, tar I'm beast. listening. A creature of tar and fire crawls from a pool of liquid metal, stands and approaches you within a naturally flowy mannerism. Does not respond to any of your gestures. Then, with stunning speed, it darts forward, seizes your arm, and heats and flares with heat. You pull free, screaming, and flee. Immediately, the active explorer removes all materials stuck to them and places himself on the nearest node in a tie they choose. We also lose... Um, so you don't have any materials stuck to you, but we yeah. lose what? Oh, no. It's no, a you gain a distress. distress. So you so distress is you go ahead and reveal and read it. Okay. So this is going to cover something when magnetized we're gonna lose or when gain we lose trust. Correct. So we lose trust, which means we flip and this then over. Anytime move the distress to another action space. So it's going to cover something. And Derek will actually have to come. I have to come save you? Well you have to remove the distress. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I can remove distress from you, yeah. Okay. But I have to support a local vibe I have to be with you. No one so. can enter this node while the creature exists unless Luna is already on the node. So I will... Well, Luna hasn't moved this turn? Or yeah, no shit. I'm just reading what it says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Um, So, the nearest node. So I can go here or I can go here. Hold on. Can I see what I mean? It just says... No. You remove all materials stuck in the node places. Them. You don't actually move. Place, you. Oh, you place them on yeah, the node? Yeah, you don't actually move. Uh, you're you're like in a fight right now. You're stuck in a fight, and we need to place the hound on that card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I already moved her, right? You did move her because you wanted to rotate. So I will have to move her on my turn. We can probably move that closer if you need to. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um. Man, yeah. I was hoping that it would get something a little better. <laughs> That was not what I was. You don't want to be in a fight. Not what I was hoping for, shockingly. Hmm. Um. So I do have to rest. Two, three. It that's is blue, game. so that's gonna give me this. Um. So we do move down in endurance. If you have not. That needs to be flipped. Already. We're not on. We're not on white anymore. Where our trust is bad. Oh. We don't trust each other now. We did that this turn though. And that goes on recover now. That moves over to recover. Yes. So you don't gain whatever you just gained by resting. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you didn't move it though. I did lose that. I, yep. I moved it. Um, hey Luna, you want to roll for 
Yeah, Justin, it is Data a big spatial puzzle. Two. The rotating nodes are quite, quite interesting. Okay. I set my focus. I moved Luna. So I moved. I scanned the nodes. I think you did everything you needed to. Here, you move your dice back. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so I will move Luna mm -hmm. onto your spot because she needs to be there, right? Mm hmm what does it say exactly? No one can enter this node while the creature exists unless, unless Luna is So Luna's out. fighting for us. She's like, back you beast. She's like, beast. you idiot. What She's are you like, doing? what the heck are you doing? This She's beast like, is trying to eat you alive. Save your life because um, you're all incompetent. That's impassable. So I will activate Luna to rotate this like Nine. that. I will enter spending a time. Solar Tempest. Add two materials to every negative node. Oh boy, they're gonna latch onto me or you, babe. They're negative, yep. You want, you want to take them or you want me to take them? I can take them. Okay, they have to go to one person. Uh, and, and they go where they cause the most problems. They go, yep, most problems. So right now, since neither of us have them, it's equal. All right, each explorer on a positive node must place themselves on adjacent negative, so that doesn't matter. No, no, we're good. Okay. All right, so I will then use this. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm taking time. I'm going to save you. No, you... What? I'm going to activate your discovery to save you from the creature. Oh, I'm fine there. I need you to... Oh, you to, need me to get rid of that for yeah. you? Oh. I can do that you next do that? turn. Like, okay. that's not a big deal. It's All not right, I will support any... you. We will raise our trust again. Oh, good. And you get rid of that distress. Thank you. You're welcome. And I have to rest. Okay. So this goes up, and it is now your turn. Okay. And I need to use this. So you'll see kind of this timing. So like now one of my dice, uh, you see here, is on the time symbol, which means I'm going to want to use that to rest because it's going to tick up. And then you can use recovery, but recovery swaps your... Oh, man. So I have another vaporize and uh, walk strategically. Yeah, we, I should have scanned her data. Just made a good point. You should always scan. Yeah. Um, but you know what? So we will gonna... scan going forward. <laughs> Look, listen, Luna it. was fighting off this this beast, okay? Yeah, it was very distracted. It was a very intense situation. I was extremely I... frightened. Not for my life. <laughs> Hey, look, you can move there because it's not blocked. I know, but it costs time. Yeah. I should probably go there to gain the materials, though, not you. Okay, I'm going to have Luna roll right now. To scan? Yeah, scan. Okay. Where is it's right there. Okay. One. But we can pick it up because we're there with her. Yeah, I was so... going to do it, but um, I want to wait. Nope, you need to. I can't. Nope. Use... My blue has to get to My up. blue is used up there. I guess I could go. I mean, it's just one, so. Can't, I can put this here. I'm just not going to get the yeah, bonus. Yeah, you're not going to get the bonus, which would be an extra. Yeah. And then I will rest, which is going to go up two. So then I, we collect that. Um, so We've got one, one data! And then when you rest... Okay, so... Can't see... Can you here, yeah, let me show... Up? I'll show mine off. Okay, so I have two dice. So when you res rest, resolve effect of each space with material. So I had the first two full. Um, so I'm going to lose an insight. And then we're also going to lose an additional time. Yep. Because Lizzie has the uh -huh. first two. So this is why you want to spin those materials or use power to destroy them off your suit. Mm -hmm. Because the more materials we have on the team, the more time it's going to cost us. Yeah, so it does say once per turn, you may consume one power to remove a material from this card. Correct. Uh, also, when you enter, you may remove one. So when we entered, I did not have any. But I could like And I don't go, have any, but you could back. come back. Yeah. But I mean, we're going to be spending time. So that's really turn, not yeah. efficient. Yes. Okay. So... This is good. This is good. I'm going to use my base movement. I'm going to use my base movement to come in here and pick these up. Then I will traverse. Oh, I knocked myself over. You're taking a nap. Yep. I will traverse, uh, gaining an insight, moving. Oh, wait. I can't move there because of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, ah! Hold on. Hmm. I'll traverse back. I will roll for data. You're going back, you're going to lose more time. Uh, you're right, but I do get rid of one of these. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to go down now. Yep, we lose endurance. Um, where's the die to roll for Luna? Three. So we have three here. I will... 
Man. I really want to pick up all three of that, but I could just pick up one. Um, What's up? What happened? Someone says, unless it's strand off specific, Luna can pick up data on her node without a player being present. Oh, really? I might have missed that. That could have been that could have been on me. But I mean that's good to know. Mm -hmm. I mean that makes sense. I might have just missed that. I don't that wasn't in the Stranos book, right? Yeah, let me look. I don't think so. I might have just messed that up. That might have just been in my head. I might have mm -hmm. read that for some reason. I know she can't scan for materials. Yeah, she can't do anything with materials this. Um point. but no, she can okay, so there's nothing there's nothing relevant to data. So okay, that's good to know. So she can pick up by herself. Um, I do need to use, oh okay, yeah, I'm sorry to do this, but I need to flip this all the way to three and our group trust is going to go down. Well, I never flipped this back over. So uh, I'm and then I'm going to rest. I just needed to boost up. I needed to boost my dice. I had to do that. <laughs> uh, it's your turn though. Thank you for that catch. More Karag, I think. Is how you say that? <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't attempt it. <laughs> I have no idea. We thank you. Okay, my turn? Yes. We have all, almost all of them. I mean, honestly, right now we need to get more data. We need to get some okay, power. I'm going to go So I here. could gain power on my turn. Because that's so going to give me it. two insight. Yep. And then I'm going to use the blue to, oh, to, to gain. analyze. Because there's some there. What? Yeah, but I think Luna, doesn't Luna have to be present? No. Not if it's there. So I think oh, no. he's An saying Analyze. that yes. you have, she can pick up, Luna can pick up data by herself, but I'm pretty sure that you have to be, a player has to be on Luna's node okay. well, to activate, to have that pick. I don't know. I thought I read that in the rule book somewhere. Justin, you might need to help out. Tom, if you're watching, I thought that I read that in the rule book somewhere where the player and Luna have to be on the like local for you to uh, pick up, but maybe not. Like, I don't think you could be here and pick this up without Luna, mm -hmm. but Luna could pick it up if she was over by herself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's what the rule is. Because Analyze it just says Luna's node. So it's just where we're Correct. Cheating. It's wherever Luna is. So like if if you sent Luna over there, she could get it for us. Well, there's some here, so I can just do it yeah, here. Yeah, just do it here. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so go down to one. Which makes sense because she is the one that's gathering it. Okay. So we have that. We have this. We need power. So I was going to use my orange to gain power. I can use my squishy lava boost. I can send one blue to get two. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so spend one blue. So spin a data. To get two power. And place Luna on any revealed or unrevealed node. And then if an... Center. Oh, wait, hang on. I am going to move there. Okay. And then I'm going to send her to where I am. Okay. And then if an explorer is on the node, we'll resend her to power. Oh, so she needs to be where you're sending Luna. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, like so that. I just used... Okay, just... thanks, more Morcarag. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Much appreciated. Those yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, Luna's the robot, right? She's the one that's scanning for this information. She's the one that's doing the data collecting. So, you know, thematically, it okay. makes a lot of sense. So, we now, at this moment, have everything we need. <laughs> we just have to get here somehow. Which is okay. why I wanted to go here, because I'm going to, this place, I'm going to swap. These can swap. Mm -hmm. Which is good. This is good. We're, we're in a good space here. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's my turn, yes? Oh, no, you have no, finished. No, I still have two. So... I was going to move down here, activate this to swap these two locations. Mm -hmm. And then you'll notice these will swap. I can actually go up because this will connect with this, which lets me move into that space. So should I spend a movement to come back here yes. so that I can? Yes, yes. Okay, so I will go here. You come with Traversing me. is going to give me an insight because I'm using the red. And then my green is going to rest. So I'm going to go up one, um, but it's so going to go gonna... two. Because I have material. Okay. And then I have to go so down. So we're going to trigger a solar, solar tempest. Super fun. Polarity surge. Add two materials to every positive. But you can only have two. Anything that is extra is lost. So two here. You can only oh, have good. two We're on materials. a negative. I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, we're on a negative. So we're good. Um, we're good there. Yeah. Okay. You want to hand me my blue? Yep. Okay. So I think we can do this. 
So here's what we're going to do. I trust you. I am going to traverse. Okay. And I am going to carry your butt with me. Get on me. Let's go. Pick it back. Pick it back ride. Let's go. You're coming with me. Okay. okay and that's going to cost an extra time. It is going to cost us time. Uh, then I will activate this to swap places. Here, let me pick this up. You slide that down. So those two are going to slide. So we're going to swap. So you'll notice now I can move into there, but I do have to rest, which means my turn is over. Although I could use my, yeah, I'll do that. I can carry I'll use my base in. moment. No, I won't make you do that. I'll use my base moment. I'll get it inside. No, you used your base movement to move you and then use the traverse to carry me. Oh yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Nice try. I tried my best. So you have to carry me this time. Mm -hmm. And then I'm resting. Did you resting. move Luna? No, I have Should not Should we done. have her with us when we do it? Mm. No, because she can freely do stuff. Like, she can... Okay, I just, she can... Well, I'm going to move, move, move her. I'm going to move her. Okay. Why don't but, you have her explore that? Yeah, thing? I was going to... Let's see what this is. That's a good point. Let's have her explore this. So, it's the Firebug Hollow. We can... It's, a build, it's another build site. Mm-hmm. We literally, honestly, though, got lucky because this is there to build. Or else we would have had to figure out a way to move that over to build on to it, right? We would have had to move, like, up, up, we, up, over. We would have had to done so many spatial movements, which twist, is awesome. Twist, twist, Okay, I'm finished. You're finished. Yes. Okay. We're going to lose an endurance. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This it always happens on my turn, somehow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I, did I need to lose an insight because I have a material. So I just did that. Okay, you bum. I am going to use my free movement and then I'm going to traverse, carrying you with me up here. Oh no, you're going to have to pick. Oh wait. But, uh, that's so time. someone has to pick those up. I think it goes to me because it would fill all of mine yep. and you wouldn't fill yours. Yep. So it has to go to whoever's going to cough. Oh, but worse. when entering you get. Yep, we get a data. So would we get to, no, we, you just get it. I don't, doesn't it. Oh, do you just gain it? I would assume. Oh yeah, it is the it. same. It is the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Would both of us get it? No. This one? It just triggers once. Okay. Because you're carrying me, so it's just entering one time. Mm -hmm. I feel like. All right. So you know what? I'm gonna use it and do scorchy lava boosters. Scorchy lava boosters. He's gonna come where we are. Luna's gonna move to us. We're gonna gain two power. So we gain two power because Luna's with us. Yeah. And oh, this means we can build what we need to. Well, we already can, Derek. Yeah, but that's great. I am going to destroy materials. So once per turn, you can consume one power to remove a material from this card. Perfect. Do it on yours, yeah. Because then, sure. I'll get rid of that. Okay. So I will do green. There. So the way this works with building, as long as local, you have enough of the symbols yeah. to match what you need. So Lizzie no, no, can. What are you doing? There. Lizzie, did you already pull it I out? I already did it down. No, okay. it was that too. So, because I'm there with my, with my uh, He's got the red. red. I have got the, the blue. blue. Okay, so on Derek, I'm going to take your two green. Okay. We're going to use the two blue that are there. Okay. Use two of the two, power. Use two power to place the polarity <laughs> funnel right on here. And now we move to the next card, which is going to be that right there. <laughs> Number four. Welp. Catastrophic results. Did we really expect anything? <laughs> are we surprised, honestly? honestly? We are not. Uh, the device works too well, triggering massive badness. That is the scientific term. Of course. As the asteroid erupts from orbit with the wrong trajectory, reveal mystery card A. Yeah, you've so got to be this over one. There. Science isn't always an exact science, but at least the way we do it, at least the way we do it, but we really were expecting this to go slightly better. A moment of panic and hopelessness threatens to extend into an ongoing vibe. Someone may down pip three to give a word of optimistic encouragement. Otherwise, Otherwise oh gosh. You're going to have to do it because I, I'll down pip. I down don't pip have any times. pips to give. I have no pips to give. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Look upon thy space. There are no pips mm -hmm. here. Okay. I have it right here. You ready? Right, Mystery. Catastrophic results. Divide anyone on the polarity funnel and Luna, if present, into two groups as evenly as possible and place them on the nearest nodes in opposite direction. Half toward Scarab and half toward Cataclysm. So you need to send us... 
on this one or this one. It doesn't say to send this on the cataclysms, but it says to, to place it on the so nodes. I, so I so you choose what happens. Going over here. So you're going to send me over here, which yeah. means I'm going to pick up these materials. Cool. All right. And that is going to get revealed. All nodes in line with polarity funnel are blown, blasted one space outward. So everything in line. So this is going to get a little weird now, everyone. You're not going to see those on screen, so you're I apologize. So that includes these ones, right? Yeah, that includes those ones, and it includes this one slides one space over like that. So literally just had this huge explosion, which has blown all of these four spaces apart, and we're going to remove the polarity funnel from play. Great. I'm so glad we spent all the time. I'm so it. glad we did this. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. All right. And now we are going to Great. move on to the next task. Um, course correct the situation. Uh, the launch asteroid is careening off course. We gather our senses and make a plan to establish a data connection to the device to recalibrate. So we need to get the workshop built and take the below action. So we need two uh, of the blue... Scientists, so yep, I have so need, one, so and we I'm, need to get and a second. I'm working to getting a second one. Um, so we'll have to build a workshop, which we'll have to, I Probably mean, I on guess. that one. Well, it depends. I think we can still go there. I can place myself under revealed node one or two spaces away. So, like, I can just go up there if I need to. Okay. But, yeah. Um, well, we need three data and three power. Okay. So, but, ooh. I'll take those. Um, so I still have not finished my no, turn. No, you still haven't finished your turn. You still have um, one more. So I, I mean, I just rest. have to rest, which is going to go up to two. Uh, I'm Which, still have we lose this. An endurance. This is gonna go down one. Okay, um, great. <laughs> that's an exciting turn, y'all. Okay. okay um, hand so hand. my goal is gonna be gaining oh, one. as much inside as possible. So I will go. Mm -hmm. I will go here to gain two insight. I will. Mm -hmm. Recover this going up three. Uh, we're going to have to. Oh no, we're going to have to pay pips. Can't do that. Yep. Um, uh, this is a good one to have. I You honestly blew me onto a good one. Like you, you mm -hmm. blasted me out well, onto good. a good one. I'm glad that you're happy about that. Okay, so Luna cannot move. So these are empty spaces now, so we need to figure out how to move on to empty spaces. We I know, I'm reading out... that right now. So um, nodes can be placed onto empty spaces through effects, so if you're moving it one space over, right, right. you would do that. Um, okay. It says resource that would be placed in empty space or lost, so if it was like, you know, place it next to and there was nothing. I know, that's what I was trying to figure um, out. This is... Nodes across empty spaces are not adjacent. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate this. Uh, it says to place myself onto a revealed node uh, or unrevealed one to two spaces away. I'm going to place myself here. Yeah, so you could go here. And then this is going to get to rote 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, not that way. It says rotate this. And it says, oh, in either direction. Rotate at 90 degrees. Either. Well, it doesn't really help me out much, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. so I guess I'll do this. All right, but I'm here now, which means I can swap these. So when you swap with an empty space, it stays empty. So I'm going to slowly, like, move the... <laughs> get us back together. Get us back back together. All right, Lizzie. It's... Oh, wait. Uh, I lose an insight. We lose two time. Everybody's favorite. You called it Solar Tempest. Add a material to every negative node. One. Two. That one. That one, that one. Each negative node rotates 90 degrees clockwise for each negative node adjacent to it. So this one would rotate 90 degrees this way. This one rotates 90 degrees this way. Uh, that one doesn't, that one doesn't, and that one doesn't because there's nothing next to it. And it is now your turn. Um, NBD, no big deal. I'm in trouble. We're all in trouble. But <laughs> like, literally, the only place I can go is the Cataclysm. What is the Cataclysm's ability? Uh, trigger Massive Explosion. It says each explorer on this node gains um, the... 
distress. Okay. And then place all explorers on this node onto any node three spaces away. Yeah, so you just blow yourself over to me. If you blow yourself over here, we'll line up. It'll be three spaces away, right? One, two, three. Perfect. And I then we'll be go there. One, two, or come to one of these. I don't know if that would be any better. I mean Um I can tell I do think we need to have those revealed, but I don't know. I don't really fancy blowing myself across space. As shocking as that may sound. Um, you'd have to activate Luna because that's impassable right now. Anyways. I know, I would have to activate I the think magnetic that's your stream. only play. I don't like it. I, I am I not think happy, Bob. You have to take one for the team here. You know? And then you're going to have to come get rid of my distress. I will come support you. I will support you forever. Until we die together in space. Wait, no one can hear me scream. Okay. It's true. Um, so I have to rest though because this one is at zero. So that's going to go up to one. So move that one. And I have to go down one in sight. Um, so I guess... I wanted to get, I should have used that power, but I didn't want to because we're going to need power, but mm. I need to get rid of some of the materials I have on my board. Okay, so we're going to go here for the magnetic screen. What? To oh, yeah, yeah. Go down one. Um, to rotate so I'm going to go up, the, like up to this. 180 degrees, yeah. Um, because then at least I'll get some insight. Yep. Uh, and then I will use this. <laughs> so you get distressed, you blow yourself all the way over here. When gained, we go down, though, in trust. So then we're so going to we lose, lose two pips. Two. I will take that. Thank you, because I really don't have the pip. That's fine. Um, and that's, that's all, folks. But hey, this is good. This, we're in a good spot here. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, I'm going to activate this and this space in adjacent swap, and then we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Just kidding. So well, it's going to go like this. I'll pretend I did this on my turn. Literally oh, yeah, two. scan? Yeah. You should have scanned. I did scan. I'm going to go ahead and spin this power because I need to get rid of this material. Um, I'll just make a little thing over here. Mm -hmm. just hold. Okay, so hey, look, we're close to each other now. Yeah, but you can't get over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Can Luna enter? Can Luna enter? Um... Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to spend, I'll activate this. So actually, instead of using the power for material, I'll use it to do the geo manipulative pulse. I'll remove, you should have gained that. Oh yeah, you're right. But I couldn't gain these. You do gain them, they just go away, I believe. So it says, uh, if um, multiple floors, uh, fill as many magnetic burden spaces as possible, and then is how do we get as much distress as possible? Yeah, well, I've got, I've already maxed out my distress. How do we move Luna? What's it say about the movement rules on spaces? Like she can't. Okay, don't worry about her because I'm gonna. You got her. I'm gonna um, okay. use my scorchy lava. Booster. Okay, you're gonna use scorchy lava. Booster. I'm gonna I like use it. the scorchy lava boosters. Okay. Um, well, do you have a uh, space question or did that, do I got it? No, I'm gonna just... you're good. You're good. You're good. So I will theorize to go up to here, and then I will have to go gain some of that, and okay. then I lose I... an insight. We lose two time. We lose an endurance. So we're down to another one? We're down. So this is it. We have one endurance left. Oh my gosh. You know, we played this scenario previously and uh, I thought we would do better. This is difficult. I'm telling you, like if you think you got in the bag after playing it, like the way that the, the cards will line up. Yeah. Holy cow, and they're gonna keep you on your toes. Each of the planets are rated from, you know, like it is a harder, easier, it is a harder scenario. This is a you know more difficult scenario. So if you this is not one you start with. This is our third planet that we've worked on. Yeah. Um, so we do have a bit of experience, but it is still <laughs> I mean, it's a hard co-op. It is a lot of you should fun. not expect to just run through the planets and win. Like I and I like that it's difficult because I don't want to play through a co-op and just beat it all like just from the and beginning feel like you have i want it to be to challenging i want there to be puzzles and i want there to be things where i'm thinking like oh my gosh like what if we had Next done this time I play. what if i had done that you know mm -hmm. like i love that about this game mm -hmm. okay is it my turn yeah oh. okay it, yeah it is i'm just thinking to myself like do we need do i need to get an opportunity like do we need to what do we need to do here 
Like, if Luna comes here, we've got the data on this one. So, like, if I can get her well, on the Well, I'm going to get data get here it. with her, but, I mean, I'm going to... But do what I'm, you need to do. I'm at one pip on everything, so it's going to happen. So, if you want to time out, collect both of these. Was it already on time, or what, did it go down to that? It was on zero. Okay. So, I told you to put it down. Do that. And then I'm actually going to spend one to do the squirgy lava boosters. Okay. So, she's going to come join me. I'm going to give us... Two power. Can you reach it? I can. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and spend one of those right off to okay. get rid of one of these. Yeah, so we don't lose um, time. So that I don't lose extra time because I already lost time there. Now, Luna hasn't moved yet. What do you mean? Like, she hasn't actually taken her movement. You used her scorch. So, like, move, move her onto me, then mm -hmm. I was going to say, you might even be able to, like, rotate it this turn for me or, or not. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I could do that, because... So what I was going to do was gain my insight, so I have my blue. Mm -hmm. And then I was going to use the orange to gain power. And then, um, I guess I can't do everything, because I'm trying to figure out... If you can rotate her for me, that way they're open. Mm -hmm. So I could either rotate her, or I could give you could give you one insight, but that's not. No. You're going to get, get two with I'll that. I'll get two insight. So yeah. I might as well. Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. I mean, it's going to cost time. I mean, we're, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Go down and then we'll rotate. You can go uh, up to 90. No, I'm going to do it this way yeah. just so that if I come in, I can gain insight, insight too. I like it. I mean, I guess really. Um, And then I have to rest, so it's going to go up. I am going to lose one of my insight, however. Okay, so we go here. Okay. So I'm going to have Luna. Oh, grab your dice. Here, I'll give it to you. It's my turn, right? Yeah. So I will have Luna gather this. Mm -hmm. uh, gather two of those. Mm -hmm. um, I will then use my base movement. Do you need to? To gain an insight. Do mm -hmm. I need to what? Move the. Nope. Nope. Okay. I already did it. I will then uh, theorize to get my blue. Mm -hmm. So I get a breakthrough on blue, please. says, initiate magnetic tug. Place an explorer within two spaces of Luna's node onto Luna's node. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have to rest. So that is going to mean that we hit a solar tempest. Polarity reversal. Add two materials to each positive node. So, so two there. Two this already has two. That already has two. And um. there's, yeah, two there. Go. Okay. Uh, each explorer on a negative node must place themselves on an adjacent positive if possible. Yes. But it's okay. No, it's okay. Like that's no, that's fine. That's these. fine. Uh, I also have to go down on insight and we gain. Oh, this is it. Because of my materials. This is all she wrote, folks. We were not able to win this one. Unfortunately, we are well, at the demise. On. Hang on. So tough. Okay, my it's turn. So hard. Oh, and I was really wanting to win this so bad. Wait, it's my turn. Hang I on. know, I know. I'm being a pessimist. You got this. Okay, so I will. We just need one more power, and we can build the thing. I will traverse. You gonna carry me with you? I'm gonna carry you with me. Okay. So we have the two blue there. We have the three blue. I will, I mean, that's going to spend the time. Yeah. Oh, here. Um, I mean, whatever. And we're already going to spend it to yeah. get one. Yep. And then we're going to spend it. Oh, and wait, then... you can't. You oh, I had to rest. Build. You have to rest. Oh, so no. So then we go three time. Oh, man. So we. So. Three time. <laughs> <laughs> You left me all alone! Hello, humans, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna go take the scarab and fly away myself! Woo! We'll leave our bodies floating away. Oh my that, god. <laughs> you think you could do it and then you realize there's that you moment you're like, I'm two turns away! <laughs> the thing is, though, that's okay, we're not gonna show it to you because. No, we, we won't didn't spoil it, Nick, so you um, need to get there. But there is one more card after that with something else that you there have to is. do. There is. There is another um, thing you have to do. I don't want to. But we were super close to getting that done, so that's card five of eight. Yeah. So it's five, it was a rough one. Uh, 
Yeah, I hope it, I hope uh, you know after you play this um, this planet, if you're watching this and you haven't played this planet yet, I'd love for you to like tell us in the comments what you thought about the planet how and you how, if you survived, yeah. how well did you do? Because I'd love to know. Give us some tips and tricks. Absolutely, help us out. I know there are probably some things we weren't as efficient with. I think we probably should have managed for sure. We should have managed the materials that were stuck to us. We should have been because good. those get brutal if you just yeah. leave them unchecked. They do. Um, so sure. that definitely is something I would have done better. I would have done more of. But this one is such a great spatial puzzle. It is. This and is, I love that all the planets are different. The movement of the, the cards is really something special and unique. And oh, uh, I don't know if everyone like, has... There's a reason why this game was my favorite of last year. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite game of 2021. Yeah. It's well, so I'm unique. It's so that. thematic. So many different puzzles. Like, every time you play the game, it just is different. And even if you're playing the same planet, it's going to have you do different tasks. Yeah. So it's like, what, five planets, six planets times three? That's 18. I was going to say, we only did one scenario. scenario. There's two more scenarios for this planet that we have not even, like, opened up. <laughs> AJ about comes in. Yes, of course. We, we died. Can't you see our bodies floating away into space? Flying prone. Well, I don't know. No, they're like, floating. You know. I don't know. You're they're really, they're they're kind of like they're floating oh. away. Well, I thought we went in different directions. We're like in death. We're mad at each other. The trust is still gone. AJ, we need to play this together soon. Absolutely. Oh, Whenever yeah. you come back over for game day, we'll have to break this one out. Because uh, there are a bunch of like like I said, there are other planets I haven't gotten a chance to play yet. So um, and honestly, I really want to take another stab at this one to see if I can figure it out. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. Like the difficulty, it doesn't make me want to just quit. It makes me want to like figure it out. Like I want to be like, I can figure this puzzle out and I want to do it. Um, and I think that's really unique and, and a lot of fun. So I Today, hope you had a good time watching. Yeah. So it's live on Kickstarter now, even more planets. Um, you can back for the base game and uh, AJ is not surprised we died. Is that because you. of our expert, like <laughs> our competence or because how difficult the game is? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It, yeah, the new Kickstarter has new uh, new tasks task for the original yeah. planet. So yeah. they're there's so more. much content. Then oh, there's like goodness. scientific experiments, and there's all sorts of just wacky, wacky stuff. I'm really excited. My the the one planet, or actually, it's not a planet; it's a box, but it's a blackout. So it's like a blackout on the scarab. So like that's my Ooh, that's, that's the one so I want to play fun. very badly. Yeah. So Orange Nebula always has super high quality, super incredible, thematic, unique games. If you've not backed one of theirs. Highly recommend, like Derek said, this was his number one game last year. Um, yeah. So you have the opportunity yeah. to get I just played Plans it now one, two, three. Yeah. on Kickstarter. Definitely check it out. Yeah, we actually went, we did one, four, and then five. So we did Winora. Winora, I think, was four. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the Water World one, was really I cool. I love that one. The Water World one was neat. And then we did, I mean, this one with the asteroids. Stress so, levels. like, there's so many cool, cool ways to play this game. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching. We hope you've had a good time. We hope that you've gotten an idea of what to expect from Unsettled. If you play the game, if it's something that's going to be interesting mm -hmm. or something you think you're going to like, hopefully this playthrough has helped with that. And we appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. So we will catch you, uh, Thursday? Yep. For Thursday our next, for our uh, next uh, game. game night. Catch you later. All right. See you, everybody. Bye.